if you sit on a rock like this in the woods and quietly look around for animals, you're probably not going to see any. If you get lucky, you might see a squirrel run by, but for the most part, the animals can smell you and see you way before they get to you, and they just go the other way. And you might come to the conclusion, therefore, from your sitting on the rock, that this is a dead forest, that there's no animals around here. But of course, that's not true. You just need a little help to see the animals. And that's why scientists have invented camera traps. Here on this tree, I've got a camera trap. This is a motion sensitive camera, so that any time an animal walks in front of it, it'll trigger the camera and it'll take one picture or sometimes even a little video clip of the animal or animals moving in front. And scientists have been using these for years to document the animal diversity around the world, uh, to get pictures of pandas, to see the conservation status of tigers, to learn the effect of roads on the bears and the Adirondacks. And at the same time we're answering these questions, we're collecting thousands and millions of amazing pictures of animals, basically animals taking their own pictures candid shots of animals in the wild. And we scientists wanted to share these with you. So together, the, the New York State Museum and the Smithsonian Institution have collected camera trap pictures from all over the world. We've got pictures from Peru, from Thailand, from China, from the Adirondacks of New York, all these different sites where biologists have gone and put cameras like this out in the woods to get pictures of animals. And now we've got them all in one place. So I hope you'll visit the Smithsonian Wild website to have a look at these pictures for yourself, see these amazing animals, and really see how great the view from the rock can be.